Hi all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use YouTube to automatically caption your videos and how to edit those captions. Now, I'm not going to go through how to create a YouTube channel. There's a ton of resources out there about that already if you do a search. And if you have a Google account, you can make a channel pretty quickly. One thing I will show you is how to increase the length of the videos you can post. I normally don't recommend posting really long videos, but you're at first set to a 15 minute cap. So if you want to increase that, what you're going to do is make, go into your channel, then go up to the top right and click your profile and go down to settings. In our case, we want to look at the channel status and features to see what we're allowed to do. And by default, again, you won't be able to post a video that's longer than 15 minutes. Now my account's been verified, so I am allowed to, but if it wasn't verified, right up here, you'd have a blue verify button. If you click that, you'd be given options on how to verify. One of the easiest is just to get them to text your phone and then enter the code. So now, once it's verified, we're going to return to YouTube Studio. And then we're going to look at uploading a video. So what I'm going to do is click Create and Upload Videos. If I want, I can click Select Files to find the file in question, or if I prefer, I can drag it in. I'm going to drag mine in. And while it uploads, we can start putting in the information. We can give it a title. In my case, let's call it Example. We can give a description if we want. We don't have to, of course, but we can do a variety of things like choose thumbnails, playlists. We do have to choose whether or not it's made for kids. And under more options, the really important thing for us is choosing the language. We want to make sure to choose the language so that when it captions, it captions in the right language. And the rest of this, you could do things like change the standard license. Maybe you want a Creative Commons so people can use it. Up to you. The rest of it I'm going to leave for you to explore for later. I'll go next, and I don't really need to worry about an end screen or anything, so I'll click next. I do want to choose my visibility. Do I want to make it private just for me? Do I want to unlist it so only people with the direct link can watch it? Or do I want it public for everyone? It might depend on if you're just using this for captioning or if you're sharing this for students. You might want to do unlisted so only your students can see it. And finally, when it's done, I'm going to click Save. You might have to wait for it to finish processing. In this case, it's a short enough video that it is done already. But when it was finished processing, you can go to your videos area, go to that particular video, and click the pencil icon to edit it. In our case, we want to go into the more options area. And we will have to wait for the subtitles to actually load. In my case, you can see the automatic subtitles are not ready. This might take a little bit of time. So I'm actually going to show an example of a different video. When they're ready, though, you'd follow the process I'm about to show you. So this is a different video, but again, the idea is the same. You just wait for that video to end up with this right here, the English by YouTube automatic subtitles. And now what I can do is click into them and choose to edit. You can see it'll open a new tab. And now what I have is the video that I could start watching and the captions along the side. Now, I can edit these captions because maybe I go in and look and see, well, you know what? My name is not Mark Luber. It's Mark Lubrick. I mean, things like names and technical terms, they might get wrong, which is pretty forgivable. But you can see the captions are otherwise usually pretty good. So I can edit them. I can play the video and listen to it as I go and then edit the captions as I see mistakes come up. So hopefully this helps. The main idea is when you're done, you're going to click Save Changes. That will publish these edits. And now these captions will be attached to your video for people to watch. The only other thing I want to show is that if you want, you could also go and download these subtitles. So if you wanted a copy of them for yourself or to use somewhere else, you could do that. Hopefully that helps.